What's going on YouTube? Landon Huffman here back with another video. It is another glorious day here at Huffman Racing. I've got Seth here with me sipping on a bush light. And today we are going to do a slight repair job to our late model stock trailer. A crow's nest. We, we may have had a few people almost fall through the roof our first uh, outing with our trailer at Hickory. So today we're going to repair our little crow's nest deal on top of the trailer. We've got a piece of plywood down here. We're going to get it cut, painted and uh, get it in the trailer. I'm gonna take you guys with us. So thank you guys for being here. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and uh, let's get into it. So here's our uh, glorious high tech fancy 24 footer. But uh, this is what we're working with currently on our crow's nest or our viewing tower. It's been a hot minute. Uh, my boys got up here opening night, put one foot on it and almost fell through the roof. So we've got to do a little maintenance. These need to be painted, but right now I'm just more worried about this wood piece. So I gotta get these screws out all the way through, get this hunk of shit out and then go cut and paint our other board and get it replaced. So these are our tools of the trade today. You know, we've got a some little Sherwin-Williams Ultra White. I thought it was uh, gray, so don't know if it's going to be white or gray. <laughs> we'll go with that. Uh, we've got a roller, all that good stuff, and an old goodies dash tire. And we're about to set our piece of plywood right here. And uh, it's already cut, by the way. So we're going to get our piece of plywood set down right here and uh, get to painting. Can we flip it over for shots we paint? Uh... Seth, is this board capable of uh, <laughs> what are you doing? Can be. Is the board capable of holding seven grizzly men? Yeah, I think so. I think it'll do the job. Okay. <laughs> please tell please tell him what just happened. Shit myself. Why? I smelled something dead. <laughs> yeah, okay. We went into the paint room, which is like not occupied at the moment. There's also no lights. So we're walking around with this shot and light and uh, we'll just show you, come on, we'll show you what's in here. So if you've been watching my channel for a minute, you know that the paint room is currently a storage bin. And in here we smell something dead. God. And look at laying right here on this counter. I don't know if some bitch is dead or not. Yes, that is a black snake. And I do not like snakes. That, that, yeah. It looks like he got stuck in that sticky shit. I think that's probably what happened. Yeah, he got stuck there and died. Well, currently we, we do not have a uh, paint tray. We've got this cookie bin and Seth has a styrofoam lid. So between those two, one of them has to work. We just need something to roll the paint out in. That's it. Hello, sweet girl. So, I don't have a, a, a mixer either. I did find this metal fork. As far as I know, it should work. So I'm gonna hit it with a little brake clean and we're gonna mix our paint with this. Clean. I'm not a paint expert, but that don't look white to me. No, that's getting gray. Here it comes. This is not a tutorial. And I'll be honest, we're kind of just winging it. Looking mint, boys. Shades of gray. All right, so that actually came out not too shabby. So now we got to carry it to where the trailer is at and put it on the trailer. Not gonna work. This could be very bad in a number of ways here. Oh, 
Oh my god, like that. Gonna knock me off, Seth. Hold on, you smash my toes off, now. There, God, you smash my damn toe back up. There we go. God. So if you fall, I'm gonna have to drive Saturday. How many have my wife set on this thing? She'd be excited. Very nice, you know, it'll do. Nobody's falling through this, baby. Our uh, our garden fence sides are just gonna have to rock and roll for now. I'll clean them up later this week, but this is pretty much what we were shooting for anyways. How would you rate our success, Seth? Well, you got it done. And it only had one mild heart attack. We're back at the dash shop. If you watched my last video, she kicked ass last Saturday. We're going to try to do it again this weekend. Oh gosh, I got to blur out my wheel wheels. I want anybody to see that. Nothing special. Um, here's our... Oh, we can check something off the list, Seth. Right there, check that off. Mark it out. Nice. Beautiful. Uh, got a fixed right front fender brace. Exhaust plate came loose. Got to get my shock measurements and the left rear skirt is loose too. So I'll do that here later tonight. But at the moment, I believe that's going to be it for this video. I still have to figure out how I'm going to dispose of that snake. All right, guys. Thank you for uh, watching this video. I know we didn't do a whole lot, but we did accomplish something today. So that is always a plus here at Huffman Racing. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. We uh, broke 7,500 subs. That's pretty cool. 75 is a good number for us. Now we're, uh, we're on our way to 10K. It's like in that middle ground. You don't really celebrate 7,500 subscribers because it's like when you turn 21, you know, what's really after that until like you turn 30. And then after that, it's like, that's not even really something to celebrate. But we are going to celebrate 10K. So thank you guys again. Uh, we raced twin 40s again this weekend. Don't know if I'll have a video out between now and Saturday. I might if we go test a limited car, which is actually the plan for either tomorrow or Friday. So thanks again. Y'all have a wonderful morning even tonight whenever you're watching this and i will catch you guys in the next video i'm out